In addition to their color-changing superpowers, chameleons have incredible vision that blows ours out of the water. But they do have a weird visual disadvantage too. In this video, I'll break down the unique ways they see the world, and I'll use this laser demo to explain some aspects of their crazy vision too. Chameleons have panoramic vision. Their total field of view is around 342 degrees, with an 18 degree blind spot right behind them. Their eyes bulge out of their heads, held in place by a fused, cone-shaped eyelid. Chameleon eyes can move around independently, scanning their environment for prey and predators. So one eye can spot a predator, while the other eye, all on its own, can be going all over the place looking for an escape route. And they can process both of those views at the same time, which is crazy. But while each eye can do their own thing, if a chameleon really wants to focus on something, they'll have both eyes lock onto it to have binocular vision, similar to us, where the two eyes are looking at the object from slightly different angles to get depth perception and tell how far away something is from them. The muscles that control chameleon's eyes are also really advanced and let them rapidly and precisely zip them around to scan their surroundings. It's often claimed that chameleons have the highest level of magnification in their eyes out of all the vertebrates. But does that mean that they have better vision than an eagle or a hawk? We're actually referring to a specific kind of magnification here. Birds have the best known visual acuity, or ability to see small details in high resolution, and that helps them spot prey far away from them down on the ground. But now let's get to chameleon's true superpower. Just like humans, chameleons can change the shape of the lens inside of their eyes to shift their focus to things at different distances away from them. But chameleons can change the shape of the lens in their eye way more than humans or essentially any other animal, making them much better at adapting their eyes to shift focus between things at very different distances away from them. Plus, chameleons can change the shape of their corneas, the surface on the very front of their eyes, to be even better at this. We can just change the shape of our lenses, not our corneas too. So it's this incredible adaptability of chameleon eyes that people are referring to when they say that they have the best magnification in the animal kingdom. This helps them zoom in on small bugs so they can catch them with their long, sticky tongues. Chameleon eyes also act like telephoto lenses, meaning that their focal length is really long compared to the size of their eyes. The focal length of a lens describes how strong it is and how sharply it's bending light. So if I have a lens here and light is coming in from far away, this lens takes that light in and focuses that down to a point. So here we're replicating your eye, where our eye takes in light from far away and focuses that to a spot on our retina. But if this lens had a longer focal length, that means that this lens being in the same spot would focus light to further away, maybe something like there. While if this lens had a shorter focal length, this lens in the same spot would focus the light sooner, maybe about there. So if this lens had a shorter focal length, you would say that it's more powerful because if it was placed at the same spot and focused light here, it's bending the light more and that light comes to a point of focus sooner. But counterintuitively, having a long focal length and therefore less powerful lens is the best for viewing objects very far away. Like a telephoto lens used in photography has a long focal length. I can make a separate video doing a deep dive into that if people are interested. If you are, let me know in a comment. The small opening in a chameleon's eyelids over their pupils also helps them achieve their really great distance vision. While having a smaller opening doesn't let as much light get into their eyes, it actually improves their resolution. It's the same reason that we squint when we're struggling to see something, and that actually does help you see better. And the reverse effect is why it's harder to see at night as our pupils dilate or open more when it's dark out. And this makes car headlights spread out and that can be blinding when we're driving at night. I'll bring back the laser demo to explain that some more. So no lens is perfect. A lot of us have to wear glasses or contacts because instead of focusing light onto our retina, we might be nearsighted where our eye is too powerful and focuses the light sooner than it should or farsighted where it wants to focus the light later. And so the lines haven't come to a sharp point of focus by the time it hits our retina. In both cases, instead of a point on our retina, we have this blur of a spot, which in turn makes our vision blurry. Now let's compare how bad those effects will be depending on if you have a small opening to your eyes or a big opening to your eyes. So with a small opening or big opening, let's say we're nearsighted in both occasions. So that's the error that we have. We're focusing the light too soon. With the small opening, the light is nearsighted, so it's focused to that incorrect position, it does spread out a bit before it hits the retina. 
but with the larger opening. We're still the exact same amount of nearsighted, but because the light is coming in at this bigger range, the light spreads out more by the time it hits the retina. So instead of this small amount of blur, you have a huge amount of blur there. So again, that small opening could be a chameleon with its tiny little pupil, or for us, that's like when it's bright outside and our pupils have dilated or shrunk. While the large opening could be another animal, or for us, nighttime, where a pupil has dilated or expanded. So that's why the chameleon has less of these effects, less impact from any vision errors they might have. While at nighttime for us, as our pupil expands, our vision is worse because any amount of blur is spread out into a lot more blur. That's what causes car headlights to be spread out into these big blurs that make it really hard to drive at night for us. Okay, back to chameleons. Chameleons have excellent color vision and can see ultraviolet or UV light that's invisible to us. That lets them spot UV patterns on plants and animals that we can't see. But now we've gotten to chameleons weird visual disadvantage. They're virtually blind in the dark. Both humans and chameleons have two types of light detecting cells in the retinas on the back of our eyes. Cones, which detect color and detail when it's bright outside, and rods, which are responsible for low light vision. Chameleons have a ton of cones, but very few rods. Their high density of cones gives them great color and detail vision during the day. They can see sharp detail for up to half a mile away from them, which is way better than us. But their lack of rods makes their night vision suck. So they're active during the day and sleep all night, and their camouflage and sleeping high up in trees helps them stay safe at night. They also just happen to live in areas that don't have as many nocturnal predators as some other environments. A few more crazy chameleon eye facts. They have self-cleaning eyes, so they don't need to rub them to get something out of them if it gets stuck in there like we would. Instead, chameleons can use their own eyelids to wipe and clean their eyes. They can also retract their eyes or bulge them outwards. Retracting their eyes can help protect them, and both retracting and bulging out their eyes is used to communicate between different chameleons, whether they're looking for a mate or just sending other signals. And that's a wrap on how chameleons see. What other animals would you like me to cover in this series? If you think of something cool, let me know down in the comments, and please subscribe if you like this. Thanks.